Hello everyone and welcome once again to our video tutorial. So in this uh, video tutorial, uh, we will show you how to change the background of our OpenCart 4, the latest version of OpenCart. Okay, so in our previous video, uh, we have uh, also showed you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to install OpenCart uh, using localhost. So uh, if you have time, you can check that out uh, on how we install it in our local computer using exam. Now, in this video, uh, our goal is to change the background. Uh, now, let's, uh, let's do this and change the background of our open latest version, OpenCart 4. So, uh, first is uh, if you're using cPanel, uh, you can still do this, actually. Uh, the difference of uh, th there's no such a huge difference when it comes to using your hosting company cPanel or your local host. So we will we will show you and uh, we will guide you in a step by step way what is the difference in local host and cPanel using or changing the background of your latest OpenCart version four. So uh, and before I forget. Uh, you can also check our previous video. What is the difference between the OpenCart 4, the latest version, and the OpenCart 3? Okay, so we have a complete video for that one. You can check that out, uh, the difference. But now, here, uh, if we want to change the OpenCart 4 background template, you just need to go to your uh, folder like in my case, since I'm using a local computer or local host, I'll go to XAMP, it's the docs, open cart 4, and then catalog, view, and then style sheet. So this file name, we need to uh, modify. Now, in if you're using cPanel, uh, it, you might uh, have public HTML file or or directory and then uh, you can go to catalog view style sheet and then you will find the same uh, style sheet that CSS I just want to give you some quick uh, preview that in open cart 4 the structure might be uh, different uh, if you're using open cart 3 or the the old version so but if you want also to change the color of that uh, background with your old version, uh, you still need to find uh, this style sheet that CSS. Okay, so once you find that one, you we can open it in a Notepad pad, a Note plus plus Notepad plus plus or a pure Notepad. But the problem, so let's try to open this to pure Notepad. The problem with pure notepad is uh, you will have this uh, compressed code, which is, I would say, uh, very confusing. So what I would suggest is you install a notepad++ so that when you open that code, this, this kind of... Uh, uh, tools when you open the code it's quite organized so it's easy for you to change okay now uh, here we are here in stylesheet.css so what we need to do is to add this command yeah and then background colon and then the color now you wonder where I could I get this code so there's a good tools that you can find. Just visit this link. So you can choose uh, what color you want here actually. So let's try that one. Just copy this code and insert or change this one because this color code is gray. Yeah. So again, let me repeat what I did. Just add this command background and you can choose what color you want and then save yeah and then we need to go back here let's try to refresh our browser
there you go now we have changed the background of our open card for okay so this it's quite easy to change now let's try another color if uh, so for demonstration purposes so let's try a bit green here yeah just copy that code go back to your uh, stylesheet.css just paste it there save and then let's refresh it there you go magic <coughs> now uh, <coughs> now we have changed or whatever color we, we want so if it does not reflect what you can do is just clear the browser of your cache okay so you can find it in the settings and clear your history or browser then it will reflect if, if you refresh it all right so that's a quick video tutorial for open card 4 if you want other tips and uh, tricks for open card 4 or <coughs> other website development <coughs> excuse me uh, you can check our video or follow our youtube channel okay so for now uh, that's all my uh, video tutorial and do not forget to follow and subscribe thank you for watching and uh, see you in our next video presentation bye